Hi everybody, I'm Mario for XP Pen, and today is day two of my 30-day drawing challenge. So yesterday was day one and we did the, the sphere and today we're going to continue with day two. The lesson is overlapping spheres. Overlapping spheres. Okay. So for the lesson today, we're learning about size, placement and overlapping. So we're going to try to do two spheres and apply those three principles that we learned in this lesson. Okay. I don't like that. Let's do it again. Okay. I don't like that either. All right, so we draw a sphere. Now we're gonna draw one higher, smaller, and farther away. Tucked behind there. Okay, so those are our two circles. And now we're gonna start shading. We're gonna place our light here. And we're going to cast a shadow in this direction. So we're going to cast a shadow with lines like this. We're going to use the smooch later on. Now, another tip that I learned in this lesson is to place a harsh line in between the two objects. And he mentions that if you clasp your hands like this, you will see a line between your hands. So that's what I'm going to try to do here to draw this line darker just by going over again. And he calls this the uh, snook line, I believe. Or the nook line. Okay. There you go. Okay, we're going to extend that shadow a bit. And then we add the darkened edges. So now we're going to add the darkened edges, just like we did on our date one. So it's a very similar lesson. The difference here is that we overlap overlapping objects. So there you go. We have the awesome shadow. Although it's, it kind of looks like a solid. I would like it to be more rough, more patchy. There you go. I have a very big eraser here, brush. I should keep it smaller, but for now it will do, I believe. Okay, let's uh, improve this title here. It doesn't look good at all, does it? Let's make a good title. Day two, overlapping spheres. Okay, so we're gonna go with our smudge tool, or smooch tool, which is over here. And we're gonna decrease it. Again, my trick for this is to hit the brackets key on the keyboard to make that smaller or larger. Oh, 
Okay, so I like this match too because we can blend it in and it does that effect a little bit. I'm sure there are better tools and during my journey, I will find better tools to do so, I'm sure. Guys, if you're watching and you want to be part of my journey, don't hesitate to send me a comment here, leave a comment and perhaps I can hop into a video call with you and that way uh, I get to talk to you about my progress, you get to share some tips and maybe uh, promote your, your classes if you teach online for drawing. Me, I have serious experience in art and that's why I'm doing this challenge. Again, today, guys, we're using the Artist 16 second generation, just like yesterday. Perhaps we will be using different displays during our challenge, uh, just so you see uh, the different displays that we have. Feel free to join us in our challenge and, you know, draw along with us. We're going to be following every lesson on this book. And see how far I can get my, my art to go. All right, so let's compare here. That's, those are my overlapping spheres. Let's open the book and check. Well, definitely a big difference. I don't see this line here. This line that he calls the nuke line, I have not created it. Okay, so my idea here, what if I make the color darker and I go for it? Okay. We're going to try that for the nuke line. All right, so that's my nuke line right there in the middle. Huh. And uh, I believe that there's another one right here. Okay, so there's another one on the edge of the second sphere. which uh, tells you that that is another sphere and it's farther away. All right, how about now? Yeah, I, I don't think it goes all the way here like I did. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna undo that, undo that. All right, around there is good. All right, so now <laughs> we have some more examples of the bonus lessons. Mega bonus, 1000 credit, <laughs> shade spheres. Okay, so let's try to do a little bit of the bonus lesson. Spheres on top of spheres. Let's see if we can do that. So we have one, two, let's do another one, three, Oops. The balancing eggs. If we really want to have balancing eggs, we need to have them be more like that. So, okay. So I believe this one maybe should be a bit bigger because it's closer to us. Okay. So let's put the light source right here now and let's see if we change it, if it changes a bit. So the light is going to be hitting here. So it's going to be casting a shadow over here. So we're going to cast that shadow. 
let's see, guys, comment if this technique of, you know, is good for the shadow. Comment if this technique is really bad and what can I do to improve it? Again, we're using digital drawing, but we're following a traditional art book. So of course, some things will not be the same, but we will adjust as we go. There are some tricks in Photoshop that I will learn as I go and I will share them with you here. So stay tuned for those during the journey. At the end of this journey, we will do a recap of everything we learned. Okay, uh, all right, that will be my, my shadow. Actually, there, there are some of them, the shadow should be different, I believe, right? So let's put the shadows more individually, perhaps. So this should be its own shadow. This should have its own shadow right there. And this should have its own shadow like that. And now let's go with the smudge tool, blend those in. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks a little bit better. Let's uh, let's make the lines a little bit darker. Okay, size, overlapping, and placement. I think we've done some of the tricks as best we can. Okay, now let's go with Smooch Tool. All right, so there you have it. That is day two, overlapping spheres. So today we learned about size, placement, and overlapping. Size, draw something bigger if you want it closer to you. Draw something smaller if you want it farther away from you. Placement, draw something lower on the canvas if you want it closer to you. And draw something higher on the canvas if you want it farther away from you and overlapping, draw something in front of other objects and draw something tacked behind other objects, right? 
in front of other objects if you want it closer to you and tucked behind some other objects if you want it farther away from you. All right, guys, so this is day two of my 30-day drawing challenge. Tune in tomorrow for day three. Thank you so much.